The most popular price range for scooters seems to be the $500 to $1,000 range. The eScoot Max is another company to add to the mix. It's the 14th scooter I've reviewed in this category and it's competing against some big players like Segway Max, High Boy, and GoTrax. So let's see if it can hold up to the competition starting off with a speed test. I should be able to get up to 18.6 miles per hour. Got a full battery speed app open. I'm gonna see how fast I go on each speed mode. So speed mode one first, here we go. For speed mode one, I got seven miles per hour. Speed two, 13. And speed mode three, the highest level, 19 miles per hour, which matches the rating of 18.6. Now 19 miles per hour is the third highest speed out of all the scooters are reviewed in this price range. The Max comes with a 450 watt brushless motor in the rear wheel, powered by a 48 volt, 12.5 amp hour lithium battery that takes five hours to recharge. It's average for weight in this category at 44 pounds and can carry a rider up to 265. Now I'm 185 pounds and wanted to see how long it would take to top out in an acceleration test. Now the Max has one of the slowest starts for scooters in this price range. It does pick up a little after about 20 or so feet and took just under 13 seconds to reach 19 miles per hour. After I charged the Max and set it to the highest speed mode, I decided to do a range test. Now I should be able to get 30 to 40 miles. That's what the scooter is rated for. Start workouts, here we go. Here's everything I liked and didn't like, starting with the look. There's nothing really special or unique about this scooter. For me personally, it doesn't really stand out that much. It doesn't really catch my eye. I do like how all the wiring is internal. It makes it look nice and tidy and clean. Now, eScoot just has the one model being sold on Amazon for $749. It was recently launched, so not a lot of reviews yet. But from my experience so far, I think it will do well. It's a well-balanced scooter. I've done some figure eights on the trail. It's kind of always a test I do with these uh, lightweight scooters to see how it handles and they did very well. The aluminum alloy frame is curved which they say enhances stability and I'd have to agree. I was taking some sharp turns so much so that I was leaving tire tread behind. It is nicely balanced. Now it does have solid 10 inch tires. I was on some chip sill a couple miles back and my eyes were vibrating pretty good. Now the nice thing about those types of tires is not worrying about flats, but they do make for a bumpier ride. Eskoot tried to counter that with the front fork suspension, which was okay for bigger bumps, but doesn't do a lot for the smaller vibrations on rougher roads and sidewalk lines. The deck's one of the bigger ones I've seen in this uh, price range. It's over seven inches wide, and when I put my feet one in front of the other, there's only about an inch overlap. Uh, you got plenty of room. The stem's also one of the longer ones. I'm 5'11", and it's almost too high for me. Really like how tall this is. The handlebars aren't that wide, pretty narrow and short. I do feel cramped when it comes to that. It's kind of typical for scooters in this price range. Really haven't found a brand that has a super wide length, but the grips do feel nice. They're textured. It feels like a more expensive rubber, and they are padded. Once the battery hit the last bar, I headed home and still had some good power when I got back, so I'm thinking it could have gone further. My app recorded just over 14 miles. I think it could have gotten at least 17 or 18, which is 12 less than the lower part of the rating. I did ride the scooter hard, as I always do, with a bunch of stop and go and full throttle accelerations. 18 miles is what you can expect when it's all out. Elevation gain wasn't bad with 532 feet. That is one of the lowest I've had. Now, a 14 mile range is actually one of the better ranges in this category, topping Go Tracks and High Boy, and tying with the Segway Max. Now, let's see how well it can climb hills. The scooter's ready to climb up to a 20% hill. This, uh, there's just a short one on this path. It's 9%, so about half of what it's rated for. And it's about three fourths to a block long. I've got a full battery and speed app is open. Let's see how fast I can go up it. Starting to climb, we've got 11, 12, pulling at 12, down to 11, down to 10, really start to get steep here, 9, 8, 7, holding at 7, starting to level off a little bit, up to 8, 9, another steep section here, down to 8, holding at 8, almost to the top, 9, 10, and there we go. Now at 20% grade, I think you would struggle getting up something that steep if you're around my weight of 185 pounds. For me, I'm thinking probably 12 to 13% is as steep as this is gonna go. The Max has a front drum brake 
and then rear electronic brakes. I'm gonna head down the same hill I just came up and see how well they do. They're not the strongest brakes I've seen on a scooter uh, for this price range. There's no noise to them, but when I first press the lever, it is a little bit jerky. Here's an overview of the LCD screen. Okay, this is the LCD screen. It doesn't flicker. That's just uh, kind of a function of my phone. Now it displays speed, speed mode, and battery life. To change the speed mode, just hit the power button. You'll hear a beep. And there's four different speed modes. The fourth one is actually a walk assist where the scooter only goes about two to three miles per hour. And then double tap to turn on the lights. The scooter does come with an app and the home screen displays speed, battery life, cruise control, and lights. You can turn the scooter on and off down here. In the settings, you can switch the units from kilometers to miles per hour, a zero start to a kick start. You can set when you want the scooter to turn off automatically. And that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty basic and straightforward. The Max has an IP54 rating, which protects against splashing from all directions, a one-year warranty, and a free phone mount. Overall, if you're around my weight of 185 pounds and ride the scooter hard, this is what you can expect. A top speed of 19 miles per hour, a slow acceleration reaching that speed in 13 seconds. Range is one of the better ones in this price range with over 14 miles on the highest speed mode. Hill climbing ability isn't the best, the flatter the trail, the better, and brakes are just okay. I'd say a little less than average in this price range. Now I thought the Max held up to the competition. It's always nice to see a new brand do well right off the bat. If you want to pick it up, I've got the link below. Also check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. I've got everything sorted by price and capability, making it easy to search for the perfect scooter, bike, or skateboard. I appreciate you guys checking out my content. Hit that like button before you go, and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board, and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.